again um, my name is Nicola of Nicola W Makes um, thanks for coming to see me I've just popped on I've had a quick hour where I've had some time to do some sewing this afternoon Lewis has had football training this morning then he had a kids party this afternoon um, so just when I came back I said to my husband right I want to go upstairs have an hour just to chill out have some time to myself and do some sewing um, and in that time I had already prepared the squares for this quilt but I have managed to put together the quilt top for a baby's blanket um, which is due it's family family friend it's my, my husband's kind of cousin um, due in April I've used this beautiful Peter Rabbit fabric um, I'd got a fat quarter of it a few months back, I'm just trying to make sure you see all the all the squares. And there's a writing one as well, which I'll show you. Um, so it's just a really nice classic, classic design. Um, so I just wanted to quickly come on and show you that. I will hopefully get some time tomorrow to do a bit of filming, get a bit more sewing done. Um, it really depends what this storm that's due in brings. Um, on a Sunday morning, Lewis usually has football training and we're also hoping to go and look at a few cars tomorrow because we're really needing to get a new car before it's MOT time next month. Um, so it really all depends if we've got time but I am hoping to do a bit more sewing and if I do then I will come onto the camera and I will talk you through what I've been working on, um, some plans that I've got coming up and I'll maybe show you some of the huge stash that I've got at the minute which I'm currently working my way through. See you later! So it is Sunday um, and as promised yesterday I was hoping to come back and talk to you a bit about my upcoming plans that I've got and um, I'll just show you what I'm wearing. I'm wearing my Tilly and the Buttons Cleo top dress um, it's in a really nice baby cord um, which I got in Fabric Bazaar in Glasgow last year. It was one of my first ever makes that I really tried to do on my own um, and I love it. It's got so much wear out of it. Although I've learnt a few lessons, there's no over top stitching or anything on that and I am finding that the facings are all coming away and it's not really stood the test of time but that's down to my inexperience rather than the pattern um, I love the Tilly and the Buttons patterns, they are so straightforward there's pictures for every step of the way um, which leads me on to my next make so I spent all morning today cutting out and um, tracing out new patterns for makes that I have coming up the very first one of these is the Tilly and the Button Frankie t-shirt. So you'll see it's got the right nice long sleeve raglan top. It's a baseball baseball style top, um, which I've got. And I am planning on doing it using these two jerseys here. Um, I'm thinking I've not quite 100% decided yet, but I think I'm going to go for the darker sleeves, have the light pink for the body and the darker colour for the sleeves. So that's what I'm hoping to get done. I've seen some really, really pretty Frankie tops. Um, I'm needing some casual, some everyday clothes to wear. Um, it's the kind of thing that I can chuck on with a pair of jeans or I could put it on with a wee denim skirt and it, and it would still work. Um, so that is my very next work that I am planning. I have also had this Cashmerette Turner dress for ages. I think I spoke about it in my last video. So I have traced out the pattern of the size I think I am. The cashmere are really good because they do it by your bust size as well. So they've got a CD range, they have got an EF cup and a GH cup. Um, so I think I've worked out what size I am with this. So I'm going to give it a bash and if I don't, if it doesn't work then it's okay. I'm going to use this jersey material here which I got on eBay a way back last year when I was still deciding to build up a stash and um, just bought it. I don't, it's not a particularly nice feel of a material. It doesn't feel very good quality. So I'm going to make it up as a, as, as a twirl. Um, if it's wearable, it's wearable. If not, at least I know the pattern fits me before I cut into some nice jersey material. Um, I've not yet decided what that nice jersey material is. I might have to purchase some more. Me and my mom are going to be going to the Scottish quilting show. Um, at the SC, at the, uh, the SCCC um, at the very start of March um, so we'll certainly be looking out for some nice fabric for that so we'll be on the hunt for, for nice jerseys 
Um, again, I've got a holiday coming up, so I need to start thinking about some nice kind of viscosey material. It's going to be quite nice in the heat. Um, we're going to Tunisia in the summer and in July it is an average of 35 degrees. So I want something that's going to be quite loose and it's going to be breathable. So I'll be on the lookout for some viscose. I have had this beautiful purple tartan in my stash. Again, I got this at Fabric Bazaar at the same time as I got um, as I got the material for this this Cleo dress. Um, so I've had it for a long, long time and I've always said I wanted a purple tartan skirt to wear to my work. Um, it's been washed probably for about nine months now um, and I've just never found the right pattern um, or been brave enough to cut into it because I do love it. I think it's an absolutely beautiful fabric. However, I found this when I was going through all my patterns today. Um, this is the New Look K6843 and I am liking this one which is style E. So I'm thinking this is the one that I'm going to be making up. Um, for this it will do my work um, I'm thinking there will probably be a wee bit left over so I might make some kind of vest top as well um, although it's quite a thick I'm not sure it will work very well as a vest top I'd always thought it was going to be a dress but I've just never got around to making it as a dress so I'm thinking that's what I'm going to be using for this I'm sure that I've got 2 metres of this I'm just having a look it says skirty will take about a metre of it so I'll, yeah I'll definitely have enough to make something else out of, out of the remainder of it as well and the last one that is definitely on my to-do list is using this really nice um, I, don't, I don't even know what kind of material this would be um, it's just a really nice loose cottony kind of viscose it's got a really nice drape on it um, we got this, me and my mum got some of this, we both got it from Alison's Fabric Emporium, which is a shop in Stewarton in Ayrshire. She's actually had a big sale on recently because she is closing for a couple of months and is going to be reopening a new shop, also with a new bigger shop in Stewarton. Um, and we got this in an online Facebook sale that she did last summer. I am going to be making this pattern so again it's a new look and it is 6575 and I'm thinking I'm going to make option C out of it um, I think it'll be just be a nice summery one I'll be able to wear it to my work with some smart trousers and um, just as easily as well the model here is wearing it with some nice jeans um, or I could put it with shorts when I'm on holiday um, so it looks like I think it's a really nice fabric choice that I've made for it and it's a nice pattern again I'm just having a look and it's saying it'll take about two meters fabric and that's what I've got so that's the the patterns and the sewing that I've got coming up that I'm planning and um, I still not made any decisions about what to do with my fat quarter stash I am eagerly awaiting my next so Hayley Jane box I know they have been posted so hopefully that will arrive tomorrow and um, and we'll see what's in there what fabrics in there I've got a few fabrics in the washing machine as we speak just now um, so again, I think they're going to be, one of them is a really nice red, cherry red viscose which I got out of the So Haley Jane box last month. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm hoping to make some kind of jumpsuit. I'm looking for recommendations for jumpsuit patterns. I know there is one coming up in the new Tilly and the Buttons book. Um, it's also the Zadie jumpsuit. So I'm just looking at any ideas that you think I've got, I've got quite a full figure. Um, I'm quite busty and I've got quite big hips so whatever you think might work with that pop any ideas in the box below I just wanted to say thank you for continuing to watch me I really do appreciate it if you like what you see please do subscribe and follow me on Instagram Nicola W Makes um, if there's anything you want me to see me do videos about just let me know um, if not I will try and do another video now I'm away next weekend so it'll probably be sort of 10 days time I'll pop another video up just show you what I've been working on. Hopefully I'll have that Frankie t-shirt finished. Um, and I'll have made some inroads into my Turner dress. Thanks for watching and goodbye.